in the case we already have created documents, there are different ways to edit the three main characteristics which are printing dimension or image size, pixel size or size for the screen, quality or resolution which is the amount of pixel per inches, and color mode or the way in which Photoshop reads the image to reproduce it. If we begin by editing only the first main characteristic, that is, changing only the printing size or the pixel size, we can click on Image, Canvas Size. This option only works on the size. In this case, we can change the measurement unit we want. Here it's saying this image is 9 by 6 inches. If I wanted, I could choose 5 by 5 inches. Here it shows that as I'm making the image smaller, it says in which direction it is going to decrease. For example, if I wanted to decrease to the center, it is going to cut from the top, left, right and bottom edges. In this option, what decreases is the size of the working space, the canvas, but what is inside the image doesn't become smaller. This very canvas option can be used by clicking directly on the crop tool. And with this tool we can limit the size of the image. When we press enter we can now have an image that now instead of being 9 by 6, if we see here on the canvas size, now it is 6 by 4 image. This canvas size options can be used with a specific sizes. For example, if I wanted to turn this photography into an 8 by 10 photography to print it, I can write here 8 inches by 10 inches. Then, now I have a square on the canvas that is placed at an 8 by 10 size. And now it doesn't matter how much from the image I put inside, the final result is still going to be an 8 by 10 image. If I check here on the canvas size, I see that now have an 8 by 10 inches image. Nevertheless, if what we want is not only changing the physical printing size, but we also want it to have a higher amount of pixel or a higher resolution, or if we want, for example, the image to grow proportionally or decrease proportionally, and not only the working space, we will then click image size. In the image size, we have many more options. We can change, just like in canvas size, the physical size of the image. The difference is that this one not only changes the working space, but it also alters the image at the same time. For example, if I have an image set as 9 by 6 and now I set it as 5 by 3, now I have a 5 by 3 image proportionally decrease and not as before where the only things that decrease was the working space. Here in image size, I also have the opportunity to add to a specific size image the possibility to have more squares to represent the image per inch or more pixels. If the image is for printing, it is worth saying that the resolution has to do with the, uh, the printing quality of uh, the printing quality regarding also the paper porosity. For example, a very porous paper has to be a smaller dots. A very soft paper or satin has to have many more dots. For example, if you're going to print on satin paper, we could have 300 pixels per inches. If we're going to print on a bond paper, we could use 256. If we're going to print on newspaper, we could decrease to other. 
and so on and so forth until reaching to the point of serigraphy, which is, for example, fabric, which is much more porous than paper, etc., etc. Another thing we might wish to change is the color space. This can be changed in image mode and there we can have the main option of colors for screen and colors for printing.